What's up, Dirty Cones? So, I got some good questions. I believe I have some good answers. And uh, I want to say I'm pretty stoked on the conversations that people are talking about and bringing up. I think that these are the important things that we can talk about or we should talk about. And so, um, uh, I don't know, pretty excited about the future. So, I guess, so the question is uh, about brotherhood and family, and I can tell you that, and I'm, I'm telling you straight up, that you will love the guys that you go through in doc more than you love your family. Possibly more than you love your wife, your girlfriend, or anybody else you'll ever meet. Uh, there's something about going through suffering or hard times with people uh, that you don't get from other places, you know. And and so you'll be close to those guys. And then the guys you go through the pipeline with, and the guys you go through Aunt Kirtland with. And then when you finally get to go, when you're going to war and doing all that kind of stuff those guys you'll be even closer with and you just you build bonds with people it's a non-homosexual total love brother heart soul hate them when they do dumb things love them when they're good type of thing uh i can't put it into words uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't explain it, and if it was a country song, uh, nobody would listen to it because <laughs> it would be some twangy shit with some oh. So uh, um, if you're looking for a brotherhood, you're looking for closeness. Uh, join the military, uh, become a fireman, do that kind of stuff. And if you're looking for like you know close closeness then you know follow your path follow your dna to wherever you're supposed to go you know marines army navy air force whatever you know you'll you'll feel it and when you're there you'll be home just like when i the first time i went into the water and knew it was my home that's how much you'll know it you'll you'll know it like breathing it'll just feel like the right thing to do and um I think it's good to have role models. It's good to have someone you can look up to. But I don't think that if you don't have a role model or you don't have a parent or maybe you're lacking, you know, maybe your grandparents raised you or something, I don't think that you're truly lacking because the answer is inside you. The, the moral compass that guides you, just listen to it you know, and I think that's important. So don't ever discount yourself, what you got, who you are, what you bring to the table. Um, if you need help, ask people. If you need more help, ask someone smarter, wiser, older. Not necessarily me, <laughs> but ask somebody and somebody will have the answer to be able to help you. Or just listen. Just sit there and listen and the world will tell you what you need to do. The answers are out there. You know what you're doing wrong. You know what you need to do right. You know that you can train harder. You know that that's just soreness or a pain, but not an injury. You know what you can do. You know what you're capable of. You just don't believe it. So what you need to do is believe it and just do it. And that's the only way it's going to happen. So if you want to be a man, be a man. If you don't want to be a man, don't be a man. Be whatever you want to be. But only you can decide what you need to do. So, um, I wanted to make this quick. Um, people seem to like the quicker ones. They don't like when I ramble on too much. But, uh, so stay on your path. You got more in you than you think you do. And you will get through whatever you're going through. Hoo-yah.